Hey guys, good morning. Maritza Willis coming to you live from where other than the Uber lot in Houston. But you know, a couple of months ago, I started making a few videos to kind of give you some pointers of what to do, what not to do. And interestingly enough, I am literally going now on my fifth month of driving for Uber. Here's what I can say. It has been quite an experience. And although, because I am a people person and because I love doing this, it has not all been fun and games. Mainly not so much so because of the people that you pick up because relatively I only drew airport runs and, and so most of the people are going to be families or executives that are trying to get from downtown to the airport or vice versa. <clears throat> but here's what's been a little bit of a challenge. I did this originally because I just wanted to pay off a couple of credit cards and here I am five months later. One, it's extremely addictive. You, you set your own time. It's really exciting. You never know who you're going to meet. It's a great marketing tool. So all in all, it's been a pretty positive experience for the exception of, unfortunately, I was one of these individuals that came in after a period where Uber was actually taking about 28 to 30 percent of every fare. So to break that down, um, it's going to be of every dollar that you make, you're probably only going to get to keep after gas and maintenance about 67 cents. So you've got to kind of weigh your pros and cons and see, is that something that you are really wanting to get yourself involved in? Now, if you are driving Uber in Houston, no, Super Bowl is going to be here on February the 5th. So that entire week is going to be extremely busy. We're going to be, of course, hiring more and more Uber drivers. So those of you that are interested or potentially excited about making some great extra money, and guys, it is going to happen, all right? We've got millions of people in the city and then about another million or so that's going to be visiting the city for Super Bowl. So I've got a couple of pointers for you that I think is are going to really help you to make some great money. Number one, upon signing on for Uber. Now, I don't want any criticism. I don't want any negative uh, 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 what comments left on my feed. I'm giving this code to you only because, number one, you're watching my video. I would love to mentor you if you are in the Houston area. And by mentor, I mean you are going to call me and I am going to tell you and I'm going to give you the pointers of what to do and what not to do while driving for Uber. But if I give you my code number, you will get a referral fee of about $25 to $50 depending on the incentive. I will get a referral fee of anywhere between $100 to $250. However, I'm not one of these individuals that just gives out my code and just leaves you stranded. I will mentor you and I will give you some good pointers of what to do and what not to do. So before anything, my code is my first name, which is M-A-R-I-T-Z-A Maritza W. And then it is 27 U is an umbrella, E is an Edward. Now here's what's interesting, and this is one of the reasons I don't like Uber very much. So I've made videos in the past, I've given out my code number, and guess what? For those of you that are gonna have the opportunity of doing the same, if you don't also give your cell phone number and you show up with just my name, Maritza Willis, with my code number, Uber finds excuses of not paying you your referral fee. So a lot of people went there and unfortunately thought that I was scamming them just to go and sign up to drive for Uber, thought that I was working for Uber and trying to recruit people because at the end they didn't get the referral fee and guess what, neither did I because they didn't have my personal cell phone number. So if you're interested, that is my code, hit me up personally and I will send you my personal cell phone number so that you could go ahead and, um, and, and have access to that referral fee. All right, number two. If you're already driving for Uber and you are new to the city of Houston, here's a couple of things that I'm going to warn you about. Don't get suckered in when Uber posts on our app that there is a surge somewhere in the vicinity of Houston. 
Now, if you're already in the location and you haven't gone online and there is a search, then by all means, turn it on and capture whatever amount of, of extra fare you possibly can. But the reality of it is, after five years of uh, five months of driving for Uber, what I have learned is that they are going to turn on a surge in enticing you to go to a location. And unfortunately, or because they may have too many too many drivers in a, in a particular location, they're going to entice you with a surge. And when you get there, they turn off the surge. So don't chase surges. Now, a couple of things that have been very constant in the past five months. The Bel Air Kirby area around the medical center every day surges from about five o'clock in the morning till about seven o'clock in the morning. Those are gonna be your biggest money making times anytime between five a.m. and 9 a.m. Most people that are calling you between five o'clock in the morning and six o'clock in the morning are going to be airport runs. Now, be careful anytime after seven o'clock and about 8.15 because unfortunately, those are going to be students, whether they're high school seniors. And of course, remember, you cannot pick up anybody that is under the age of 18. You will get yourself into a ton of trouble. So be careful driving between the times of six o'clock in the morning and, uh, excuse me, 7.15 in the morning to about 8.15 in the morning. Most of those rides are going to be one mile, half a mile rides, and it is going to eat up your gas. It is not worth it. So what I urge you to do is head to the airports, set your destination, and that's something that Uber gives us. They give us two times per day where you can actually go into your application, set the destination that you want to go in, and so therefore either head to the airport and set your destination while you're headed there. If you're like, let's say in Katy or Sugar Land and you want to get to Bush or Hobby, I would highly recommend that you do that, but stop chasing the surges. They're, 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 they do that to entice you, and at the end, it's only going to make you mad. And, and for me, it just pisses me off because you lose your, your spot in a queue in an area that you're in only to go and chase the surge that is, is you know, supposedly phenomenal. And by the time you get there, they've turned it off. So, so don't do that. The other thing also is as soon as you come on board, get some mentors. The best places for these mentors are going to be at the airports because there's a lot of downtime. In most cases, you are going to sit anywhere, depending on what you're driving, you're going to sit anywhere from two to, I've, I've sat here as long as six hours. However, there are people here that are Uber veterans and because they're Uber veterans, and if you friend them and they like you, they are going to help you. They're going to give you some great pointers. They're going to tell you the, the what to do's and the what not to do's. Um, and, and again, again, these individuals know what they're talking about. Uh, and, and I urge you, don't be a bump on a log and sit in your car and just wait for you to get called because you don't want to go and meet people. Get out of your car, go and visit. These people are diamonds in the rough. They are literally going to help you so, so much. The other thing also is airport versus city. All right, so I live up here in the north by Bush Intercontinental Airport. So what I do first thing in the morning, uh, and many times even before I'm even out of the house, I will sit at my home with my application turned on between, let's say, 4.30 to about 6.30 in the morning because anybody that's getting up that early in the morning is either going to be going to downtown or they're going to be headed to the airport. So in most cases, I don't go anywhere until my application pings me to pick someone up. Why am I going to go sit somewhere and waste gas when I can be in the comfort of my own home and then from there take my first ride? So that's a really, really good pointer for a lot of you. The other thing also is, guys, have communication with your rider. It will give you the opportunity and the application to send them a message to say, hey, good morning. Um, I'm on my way. I'm in a black infinity or I'm in a, you know, great Camry, whatever it is that you're driving communicate with your rider. Number one, Uber does not allow for tips to be given to us on the Uber app. So I have this little 
uh, placard that I carry in my car that says tips are greatly appreciated. Thank you. Now I do this because number one, you are going to want to give excellent service to whomever it is that you pick up. And number two, it helps to supplement that 28, 30% that Uber takes from every single one of our rides. Not only that, they may call you to be in the vicinity when they're going to order Uber so that ride will come to you. So extremely, extremely important that you communicate with your riders, let them know who you are, and then be friendly, of course, when they get in your car. So tips are going to be really, really critical. At first, when I first started and they were selling these little placards, you know, that tips were greatly appreciated. I was so embarrassed. I thought, oh, my God, like I don't feel comfortable in asking people for tips. And, and yet they would tip me anyways. Right. Well, believe it or not, after I got my tip placard, my tips tripled. And for times that you're sitting at the airport for three or four hours, those tips supplement that downtime so that you're not making two bucks an hour. All right. So so don't feel uncomfortable. People will tip you if they want. And they won't if they don't want, all right? But it has nothing to do with, oh, my heart doesn't let me. That's kind of how I felt at the beginning. I was a little embarrassed. The hell with that. Make as much money. This is what you're doing it for anyways so that you can supplement your income and be fruitful in what you do. So anyhow, hit me up, guys, if you have any questions. I hope these pointers really help you. Remember, if you are driving at the airport and picking people up, at the airport, you cannot pick anybody up until you have your TNC license and your sticker that gives you permission to drive in the city, in the, in the airport, or they'll give you this temporary tag because I just bought a new car. They will give you that temporary tag so that you can go ahead and pick up. Guys, if you don't have that sticker and you pick somebody up and get busted, it's a $450 fine. In addition to that, once you have that sticker in your car, you must pick people up in the TNC lot. That's T as in Tom, N as in Nancy, C as in Charlie. They're all designated. It is typically on the south side of arrivals. On the, on the south side of that terminal, you, you just circle back around to whatever terminal you're at and you're going to see the pickup there. So um, I'm trying to think of anything else that may be helpful for those of you that are just starting. I urge you take advantage of the fact that Super Bowl is going to be here. If you are on winter break because you're a college student and you're thinking, man, I could make some extra money. Yes, you can. Hit me up. I will help you. Again, my whole idea, I don't like making money for nothing. I want I want to help you be successful. I believe in the law of abundance as opposed to the law of scarcity. There's millions of people and we can all win and have some amazing money for Christmas and of course a new year. And Super Bowl is going to blow things up. So, um that's it for now. Again, if you guys are really interested and you need my help and you want me particularly to mentor you, again, my code is Maritza, M-A-R-I-T-Z-A, W, 27, U as an umbrella, E as an Edward. Have an amazing, amazing day, and I really hope that this truly helps you guys. Bye.